Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. She's uh, kind of sick, so she'll probably be back later. We're going to talk about Elon Musk, Space Daddy, and we're going to talk about Marvel, and we're going to talk about Robert Downey Jr., and some comments that Robert Downey Jr. made about Elon Musk, because a lot of people have been comparing the uh, MCU version of Iron Man to the real life Elon Musk and RDJ is like, no, not exactly. But that's, that's not the issue that people are having with his, his comments. Uh, the issue people are having with Robert Downey Jr.'s comments on Elon Musk is that he said he was a, uh, Robert Downey Jr. was a recovering, recovering uh, white man. I'm not kidding. So that, you know, I, I don't, I don't know where this is going to go, uh, in terms of the MCU, uh, if it's going to have any bearing on the MCU or if Robert Downey Jr. is just saying the things he has to say to stay in the good graces of Hollywood, right? I think there's going to be another round of TDS, uh, Trump derangement syndrome. And I think it's going to make the first bout of TDS look like nothing. I think people are going to absolutely lose their shit. Uh, should Trump win, what's it, a week and a half? In a week and a half, uh, they're, they're already ramping up the attacks on celebrities that are endorsing Trump. And of course, Musk is throwing in heavy with Donald Trump. And you don't want to be a, a proxy Trump supporter, do you? Uh, you? You do not, right? If you, if you work in Hollywood. But uh, he's got so much money, he could just... He could just tell him that I'll go F off and he'd be fine for the rest of his life. Uh, both Robert Downey Jr. and Elon Musk. So let's uh, let's talk about this. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, this is coming from d on on uh, Twitter. What a stupid... What a stupid fucking name for... No, that's actually ours. Um, we are actually starting to publish uh, articles and, and whatnot over on d on Twitter. And uh, we actually covered this a couple days ago. Yeah, it looks like the mainstream media is a little uh, slow because Variety, this is uh, actually their their top story right now. Robert Downey Jr. confronts Elon Musk cosplaying as Tony Stark, cosplay Tony Stark by saying, I just wish he would control his behavior a little more. Uh, I, wish, I wish people wouldn't compare me to him because now he's supporting Donald Trump uh, heavily and um, I don't want people to, to think that I am. Because uh, RDJ, I think he's been pretty quiet, mostly about his politics. And he does seem like, you know, even if he is a Democrat, I think he's got a bit of a conservative streak in him. So they're probably going to turn an eye on him and be like, who, who, who are you voting for? I don't know if he came out and supported Harris or not. He might have. Uh, I'm sure people are keeping lists. I'm sure there are people in Hollywood who are keeping lists to make sure that one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood is on the right side of history. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Elon Musk briefly shared the screen in Iron Man 2, that's correct, for like 10 seconds, in which Downey's hotshot business tycoon Tony Stark met Musk while at the Monaco Grand Prix. Iron Man 2 is terrible. It was not a good movie. Uh, it was a fitting moment as Iron Man screenwriter Mark Fergus told New York Magazine that Musk partly inspired the screen iteration of Tony Stark due to their technological prowess, cockiness, and overall hot-headedness. What does Robert Downey Jr. actually think about Elon Musk? During an interview appearance on On, okay, so during an interview appearance on On with Kara Swisher, it's a podcast, Downey was asked point blank about his thoughts on Musk cosplaying as Tony Stark in real life. I've only met him a few times, Downey answered, as an almost 60-year-old recovering white American male. I just wish he would control his behavior a little more, but that's not on me. I know that this idea of it's all okay because we've got to get to Mars doesn't really hold water with me. Uh, but again, you know, you have to look at all that he's done that demonstrates why he's valuable. He's got a lot of money. Uh, he's, he's, he's valuable. Iron Man screenwriter Fergus said in 2022 that the movie version of Tony Stark was a mixture of Musk, Trump, and Steve Jobs. Of course, we're talking... I'm sure pre-election Trump. Did you guys, if you watch the Rogan podcast, it's really interesting because Rogan, the, the episode he did with Donald Trump is like one of the highest viewed 
Rogan episodes ever, I guess. But he brings up correctly at the beginning that until he actually ran as a Republican candidate, Hollywood loved Donald Trump. The View loved Donald Trump. They actually have a clip of him on The View going in saying he's thinking about running for president as a Republican. And even Whoopi is like, hey, that's pretty cool. You know, you're, you're all right. And, and then as soon as he gets elected, you're a, you're a literal Nazi. And anyone who supports him is a literal Nazi. Elon Musk, they loved him. He was building uh, um, electric cars. And he's like, let's you know, build robots and let's do all this really cool tech stuff. And everybody loved him. Until he started to show a bit of a conservative streak, but you know, as you don't get to be the world's richest man uh, if you don't have at least some some kind of a conservative streak in you, right? I'm just saying. And the same with Bill Gates. Like Bill Gates, I mean, he he does all the philanthropy crap, and there's a whole conspiracy theory behind him. But like, he didn't get to where he was at by giving away all his money, you know. Um, anyway, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Musk's current resume includes being the CEO of Tesla, the founder of SpaceX, and the owner of X. Yes, I remember very well, and oh God, this makes me giddy. There were a bunch of uh, journalists, because I said uh, when he was making the jokes about buying Twitter, somebody's like, you should buy Twitter. And he's like, well, how much is it? And uh, people were like, he is never going to buy Twitter. I'm like, I the way his brain works, if he's making a joke like that and he's made it repeatedly, he's he's seriously thought about it. Right. And he said before that he wanted to build in kind of an everything app and Twitter had good bones. And I've, I've done multiple videos on this. And I, I said, he's probably going to try to buy it. I don't know if it's going to go through or not, but I think he's going to try to buy it. And, and we have these journals like, oh, Clownfish just wants Elon Musk to buy Twitter so he can carry out their personal vendettas. I'm like, bitch, he doesn't even know who I am. But beyond that, uh, no, it's, it's a critical note. And this is, you know, you look at even with the election, you look at 2020 versus 2024. How do you think things would have played out if Elon Musk didn't own Twitter? I'm just saying. Like any conservative viewpoints probably would have been sm smacked down hard because we saw what happened during the pandemic, right? Um, so yeah, a lot of people were out to... Look, I'm taking the long way around, but a lot of people were out to get Elon. It's the new get shorty, right? They want to get Elon because in their minds he is potentially helping Donald Trump get reelected very, very much. And I, they're not incorrect, right? Because like I said, if he didn't buy X um, or buy Twitter and turn it into X, I, I don't know where, where things would be right now. I really don't. And they know, they know it too. Um, they say he's one of the most controversial business leaders in the world is often a target for Hollywood voices. Now, they loved him. They loved him 10 years ago. Michael Keaton, for instance, recently slammed Trump and Musk and told their supporters they do not care for them. They don't really respect you. They laugh at you behind your back. They think you're stupid. Michael Keaton said, I saw that. Michael Keaton also did a, a video for Joe Biden, which you know, made some sense. I mean, you know, he's a blue collar guy from Pittsburgh, right? Michael Keaton. And he seems like an okay guy. I have, I have no problem with Michael Keaton, but you know Biden's from Pennsylvania. That that kind of made sense. Uh, I think he's an old school Democrat who would like to believe that this is still 1982, you know, or even 1992, and it's 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 not. I mean, things have gone pretty far off the rails. They don't want to hang out with you. They have nothing in common with you. They're not your bros. But there you go, guys. For the people who thought that, uh, you know, I was. I was giddy that uh, Elon Musk was going to do what I said. He doesn't even know who I am. A biopic on Musk's life based on Walter Isaacson's authorized biography is currently in development from A24. Lots of shit posting. So, yeah, I mean, he's I, I don't know what Robert Downey Jr. personally thinks. I think he's saying what he thinks he has to say to stay in the good graces of Hollywood. I mean, this is a guy, uh, you know, Downey, who was exiled from Hollywood for many, many years. And now he's making ridiculous money. Plus, he has to work with these people, right? Even if he loves Elon Musk, even if, and he was very careful in how he worded it, even if he freaking loves him, he's not going to be able to say, like, yeah, I love Elon Musk. And I love what he's done with Twitter. I think it's fantastic. And they're going to be like, okay, uh, guess who gets to go make uh, uh, right-wing Christian movies with Zachary Levi? Robert Downey Jr. You know, they're not going to do it. And 
he's just not going to say it. But it's it's very um, it's very clever. I, I've noticed during these interviews how they try to feel out the person they're talking to because it's like I know Mel Gibson. I saw a clip with Mel Gibson. Now, of course, everybody already knew which way Mel Gibson was going to go, but like TMZ was like following him around. Who you voting for? Who you voting for? Who you voting for? Because they're trying to get the list together. I think they're trying to get the list. Like, well, you know, okay, let's see. Robert Downey Jr., what did he say? Oh, he doesn't like Elon Musk. He's a recovering white male. Okay, that's fine. I guess. I guess. Michael Keaton. Hey, what did he say? Oh, he doesn't like Elon Musk in trouble. Okay, I guess he's fine. And it's going to be the older white male actors who command some of the highest paychecks too. They're, they're going to be the ones that they go after first to see what they think. You know, that, that's my opinion on it. So we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what happens uh, after November 5th. I, I don't know if some people are going to want to leave their houses. I think it's going to be absolute chaos, but uh, yeah, I can, I can already feel there's another uh, potential blacklist coming. You got to say the right things, right? I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Join the reef. Go to clownfishminus.com. That's clownfishminus.com. You will get exclusive access to podcasts and videos and comic strips and more as well as merch discounts. Check it out. If you were a member, you could get this t-shirt, this dismal t-shirt on our website. You'd get a 10% discount on that. You can also join in the community on clownfishminus.com. Thank you so much for the support.